So I haven't played Halo Infinite in a while, but with the recent hype around the new season, I decided to reinstall it, and I have to say, I am impressed. The new game modes and maps have been a return to form. The game is more fun to play, and it feels like I'm finally playing a decent Halo game again. I find myself playing the squad battle a lot, and I'm really satisfied with what 343 has done. They've managed to balance the new features they implemented with the old way of playing Halo. From the maps, to the availability of vehicles and armor abilities, the game feels more balanced in that everyone starts with the equal opportunity to run around and find the weapons and armor upgrades that will help them get the tactical advantage. Another mode that caught my eye was Infection. Infection back in the days of Halo 3 and Reach was awesome if you were the survivor, but I won't lie, it kinda sucked if you were the infected. As a survivor, all you had to do was find a nice corner, and you'd be able to win the round by shooting in one direction, as the infected would attempt to reach you. Although there is a little of that in the new infected, it's certainly harder to win that way. As an infected, you now have abilities that can give you the advantage. If you're one of the alpha zombies, you can deploy a cloud bubble that you could use to mask your movements or blind the survivors if they choose to camp in a corner. Regular zombies were also giving the ability to mark a spot they can respawn at if they are close to death. But you have to use it in a timely fashion, because if you die before using the ability, you'll respawn at a random spawn point. Custom games isn't lacking either. Players have put in the time to make unique maps and new experiences that I have been having a lot of fun with. When Halo Infinite first came out, the multiplayer was lacking. There were very few game modes and the game itself felt unfinished. With the season, the game feels more complete. There are a variety of game modes to choose from and there is a larger amount of players than there were before, including streamers now recording themselves playing Halo. It looks like Halo is on the path to recovery, but to keep the upward momentum, the developers will need to continue on the right track. Will the recent reinterest in Halo Infinite continue and last? Only time will tell. Until next time, my friends, this is Noble Six, signing off. Hey there, thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to support this channel, leave a like and subscribe. If you visit my Etsy store, you can purchase some of the art pieces from the Noble Six files. And if you'd like to wear some monkey swag, visit my spring store and check out some of the merch available. More to come in the future.